So Wiggins Hair must think I am a miracle worker. Maybe I will be a miracle worker after this because make it make sense. Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty with Todd. Today it's all about this sleigh here, baby. Mm-hmm. V par wig, you already know. Let's get into how. Let's get into how I got my hair to blend in with this curly hair. For the most part. <laughs> Don't play me. Here we go. Okay, here's my package by Wiggins Hair. So they sent me an edge brush, a melt band. Oh, these are cute. Some lashes, some wig caps, and this is 24 inches. Okay. Really pretty curls. This is a V part wig. Oof, these wigs feel so good. I love this. See the inside, come with some clips around the leave out area. Got some combs on the side, combs and adjustable straps in the back. And as you can see, this is very light and airy and just very breathable. All right, let's get into it. Okay, y'all, so I just washed my wig. Look at the curls popping, girl. Look at that definition. So nice. So I'm going to let this unit completely air dry before I install it. So probably about two days. I'll be back. So it's going to sit right here for two days. Okay, y'all, so it's been about four days. It's been a minute. Here's my V part wig. Okay, so this is going to be a real quick and easy, simple video because this is a wig that you should be able to install and go and be on about your little merry way. Okay, so first thing I'm going to cut this middle piece. And since I will be trying to blend my 4C hair with this 2B hair. I will go ahead and take out, so you see on one side, it's about this thin. And I'm going to twist this with my hair. So I'm going to pull that out all around. But girl, I will be gluing mine down. You can sew yours down. You can just use the wig clips. These are here. It will definitely hold it in place for you, but I want to glue mine. Okay, so you can see that's pretty much the V here, how thin it is that I have that little leave out all right so my cornrows are crusty and dusty however I did wash my leave out this is how much I have out I just took loose my old cornrows don't judge me your girl's trying to get these videos out <laughs> that's it that's all okay I got a little conditioner there but that's okay I'm gonna put the glue like right above the clip so whether you're gluing it down clipping it down or sewing it down step one Oh, this one fit perfect. It's right up there in my leave out. So I'm going to do both. Clip down my combs and glue it. That's the glue I'm using. And I have to take my top off because it won't come out. And I'm not afraid of glue. I'm going to put it right on my scalp. If you are afraid of glue, use glue protectant like Morning Glory. Now I'll put this right on it. And I'm doing this because I need my weave hair as close to my natural hair as I can get it. And you know, this way, it's like, it's too much of a gap for me. So I need it closer. And let me tell y'all something. And I will remove this by literally pulling it off my hair. That's it. Now, if you don't want to do that and you you may risk pulling your hair out or whatever because i could care less a little bit use some hair oil you can put some conditioner right there first they actually have glue remover you can purchase from the hair store so yeah do that but as for me now let's see here's my leave out still Okay, my hair is still damp a little bit. Well, actually, I'm going to section the back. Yeah, I'm going to do three. That way, one can literally come back. So, Wiggins hair must think I am a miracle worker. 
maybe I will be a miracle worker after this because make it make sense. But that's exactly what I'm going to try to do because that's what I get paid for, right? <laughs> to make it work. I'm going to be using these flexi rods. I have five and then three orange ones. I'm going to have to fold it. Okay. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this. Just watch me work. So I think I'm going to do three, three, three. Just water. Nairobi. I'm going to twist the base because I don't want my roots frizzy. So twist and then add the weave and roll it. I'm going to roll until where my hair stops. Okay. That's there. Not too much. No. This is not going to work. It's not. You know what? I'm just trust the process and I'm going to keep going. Just make sure this is actually a little curl. And I'm okay with that. Okay, mission accomplished. I did it. All right, so I'm going to let this sit maybe for a few hours and maybe overnight. I don't know. We'll see when I come back. I see you when I see you, girl. But first, I'm going to put this hair net on my hair just so like it's not going to get any more frizzy. It's actually a little frizzy right here because I separated that hair from it. Should I do a little bit of water? Okay. There. Be back. All right, y'all. So it's like the next day and let's get right into it and last night i did put a bonnet on my head now the real test did it work Now, okay, the actual flexi rod part of my hair actually look good. <laughs> now I gotta try to blend it though. So let's fluff it out first. I guess the back is still up, girl. Pull that back down. Mm -hmm. Okay, now each section I'm gonna just wrap around. So I'm gonna do the same thing, pick up another section and like kind of just let it just flow into it. Okay, so I've done this side. I think it look really good. So let's match this side. And some of them I do actually separate. Just as long as I tuck my ends because there's clearly a difference between my hair and this hair. There's the leave out. Y'all see how I match this? I did that, baby. Hmm. Yes. Me and my husband were both Puerto Rican. Mm hmm. You know, see how long it is? Mm -hmm. You can do a little swoop action. All right, you guys, so that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think, as well as click the link down below so you can go and get yours, honey. I'll see you next time.